What attracted you to come to the Bears back in free agency when you had an opportunity? I just think uh, just the relationship between uh, Fangio and, you know, uh, that connection uh, to Chicago and the de defense being similar and just the guys on the unit, you know, it was pretty much a no-brainer for me. Did Vic tell you anything about this group? That no, not, not at all. I just kind of knew and kind of knew the systems were similar. So I knew there would be a lot of carryover from his system in Denver to – here in Chicago. Do you see some of Vic reflected in Sean, and, and how has that transition gone for you? Of course, for sure. As far as the, just the teaching aspect of uh, getting all the guys on the same page, um, got some really good players, and you know, uh, him making making the you know the system as easy as possible for for everyone, regardless of who's in there. That was one thing uh, that was you know very obvious. Uh, in Denver, even with our injuries, you know, the system allowed us to be productive. So I think that's the same thing Sean is trying to build here. What is your understanding of what your role is going to be? And within that role, how important is it going to be to get to the quarterback? Uh, you know, right now, you know, I'm focused on, you know, training camp and, you know, doing, being the best I can be and, you know, uh, proving myself to the coaches and, you know, earning their trust. And uh, as far as getting to the quarterback, that's my primary, primary job. And you know that's you know whenever I, whenever I'm in there, that's going to be my my ultimate motive. What's it been like joining forces with with Khalil Mack? Uh, yeah, it's you know it's it's just great to be in the same building as him. Um, been in the league since 2014, so we came in the same year. Uh, for, I was from Georgia Tech, and you know I've followed his career. We've kind of followed each other, and even as far as coming here, he you know he made it clear to me that. He would love to have me here in, in Chicago with him. So uh, I'm just, you know, I'm happy to be in this in this building. And he said that to you before you yeah. came here. He, he yeah. Here. Yeah. So um, I'm I'm happy to be in the, the building and you know in the storied organization with him. You've been in the league seven seasons, I think. Yeah. Why Why do you think last season went so well for you? It was almost would you call it a breakthrough? Uh, I, my second year was definitely probably my best year in the league, by statistically. Uh, I think last season in Denver, I got the opportunity to play a lot with uh, Vaughn going down early in the season. So that definitely presented some, you know, a lot of chances for me to, to be able to get to the quarterback and, you know, really develop my game in that system. So I think just the consistency of, you know, being in, the, in a place for more than one year definitely helped me uh, last year, just being my second year in Denver and getting comfortable. Juan and Khalil have very different personalities. From the outside, it seems like they would. Uh, different personalities, but uh, similar uh, leadership styles. Uh, you know, very lead by example type of guys and uh, vocal when they need to be, but pretty much, uh, you know, great guys to be on the team with. Uh, you know, they take their, their jobs and they take their, their teammates seriously. When you're, when you're around guys like that, do you take notes, mental notes on – you know, have you stolen a little bit from Vaughn, or are you going to try and steal a little bit from Khalil? For sure. I mean, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff in Vaughn's game. He was the one thing about him. He was always trying to learn new moves, and you know, there's moves that he doesn't use. And you know, he'll come ask me and say, "Hey, Jerry, how do you do this move?" And and everybody's learning from him. So, but the one thing about those guys, they're always trying to learn and always trying to get better. So the the younger players on the team are are taking note of that. But it's still it's still early. But what are your impressions of the the talent that's assembled on the defensive side of the ball? Uh, it's just very very impactful. Uh, I definitely think uh, you know we we can be able to control games, take the ball away, uh, cause cause a lot of turnovers. I think it's going to be a you know it's I mean it's we're, we're going to control the field position on defense. The Bears lost some key contributors on special teams. Is that an area of the phase of the game that you're looking forward to contributing to? Uh, as you know, as training camp goes and uh, the preseason goes, I'll kind of you know, kind of figure out what what the plan is with that. I'm not really aware of. Uh, not 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 necessarily. Jeremiah, in addition to Khalil, you got Robert Quinn here. Have you ever worked with a pair of edge rushers that accomplished? What was your you know uh, reaction after being on the field with them now for a day or two? And how do you expect it to impact your performance? I just, you know, play, being on the same team with Rob, uh, I've been watching Rob since his days at UNC, you know, playing at Georgia Tech. So I kind of, I loved his game. And, you know, uh, he's always trying to coach me up and give me tips. And he's been doing it for a long time. So 
it's just a it's a great group. You know, I think um, up front, in the, especially in the outside linebacker room, we're gonna have a lot of a lot of guys uh, uh, getting production. Hey man, the topic of vaccines has been a hot one for players in the NFL. I'm, I'm curious, as you were going about making your decision, what where did you seek information? How did you go about getting yourself prepared to make a, a good decision? You know, I just you know it was kind of wait and see for me, uh, honestly, and you know do my own research, uh, but you know, just consulting with my family. Um, you know, just. Um, for me, it was just like a you know faith-based decision. I prayed about it. You know, my dad got the vaccine, my mom didn't, so they're you know families even kind of divided on it. So, you know, just you know prayed about it and figure out what was best for me. What decision did you come to? <laughs> um, I mean, I'm just gonna keep that. I, I have a mask off, so you kind of you get the idea. <laughs> Do you feel more comfortable being in the building and being around other guys? Yeah, for sure. Vaccinated, knowing that you have much less to worry about. For sure, I think last year um, added to the just the, the the stress and pressure of you know playing professional football. You know, you never knew if you were going to come in one day and you know be positive or so you know consistently for almost a hundred and something days testing every day. Just that definitely that ex- extra added anxiety is definitely uh, taking off your shoulders being vaccinated mom and dad made different decisions. Can you appreciate then Absol- uh, in, in, the, in your own locker room or in locker rooms around the country? Absolutely. I can definitely appreciate it. I mean, uh, you know, it, it is everybody's personal decision at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, I could, I could definitely appreciate that. It definitely teaches you to be able to understand people's, you know, people's thought processes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Adam.